Nowadays, we spend so much time online because there's so many tools and information and resources available on certain websites or our cloud servers. So using a browser like Chrome, and you can probably do this with Firefox and Internet Explorer, all three are very similar. I'm going to show you three easy ways to return to some frequently accessed websites very quickly. First, you'll want to use the bookmark bar. Now, if you don't see this, the way to turn it on is to click on the four vertical lines up in the right corner in Chrome. That's your settings. Open up bookmarks and then make sure this guy is checked off. Show bookmarks bar. You also notice the keyboard shortcut is control shift B. Once you do that, you'll have your bookmarks bar showing. So you can see I've got lots of frequently accessed buttons here. These are the places I go to probably on a daily basis. So for instance, uh, if I just click on this little guy here, me, that takes me to my own website, schoolcounselor.com. Or if I go to my to-do list, that's where this is. Sometimes I like to check on the Twitter feed and go directly to the SC chat hashtag to see what's going on in school counseling. So that button gets me there very quickly. So let's do this in reverse. Now that I'm at this site, go to the site that you want to bookmark. And then it's very simple. Just take the icon here in the left corner of the uh, URL uh, area, and it may be a lock, it may be a, a different icon, but whatever that is, just drag it over to the bookmarks bar. So there you go, you've got the title. Now this is a long one, so if you right click on that button, you can edit it to anything you would like here as well. Also, by the way, if you right click, you can delete it in case you don't use that site anymore. Or you can move things around by dragging and dropping. So I'm going to delete that because I've already got a button for that. So that's the first part. Number two, you can actually put in a short code in Chrome that takes you to different websites that you go to very frequently. So for instance, if I want to go to uh, my department web page, I put in the letter L. That's all I got to do. I put in the letter L and hit enter and that takes me to my department web page. Uh, one of the other sites that I go to frequently is my handouts page. All I do is I put in the letter H, I hit enter, and it takes me right to that part of my website. Now, how does that happen? Well, this is a neat little trick under manage search, uh, uh, search engines. So I'm going to go back to the tools. I'm going to go this time under settings. And on the first part of the settings, as I scroll down, you'll see under the search, manage search engines. And from here, you'll see there is a section called other search engines. And there it is. See, I put in these little codes. If I click in uh, the word S, I mean the uh, letter S, that takes me to the ASCA website. So let's, uh, let's do this. In fact, I'm going to start over here. I'm going to hit done. Let's uh, do a search on school counselor ethics. So let's say I'm doing some work on legal and ethical standards right now. And I want to go to this page right here. This is the American School Counselor Association's page on legal ethical issues. So I'm going to copy this URL. I'm going to go back to my settings page. Remember how to get to that. Click on manage search engines and then scroll to the bottom and you'll see at the very bottom here there's a new section for you to put in something new. So we're going to go ahead and add in a new search engine. We're going to call this ASCA Ethics. I'm going to put in the keyword. This time I'm just going to say oh ethics. I'm going to put in the word ethics and then I paste in the URL. All right, so when I hit done, that's it. When I open up a new tab, all I got to do is put in the word ethics in the bar, hit enter, and it takes me right to that page. So that's the second way that you can get to things very quickly. Finally, third thing, if you go to these frequent pages, you might go ahead and use your history. So for me, what I do is I open up a new tab, control T on the keyboard, or you can click up here on the top right and open up a new tab that way. And once I'm in a new tab, I open up my history. Now you can do that through the settings. Uh, and let's see, I don't do this very often. There it is, history and recent tabs. 
And the reason why I don't do that very often is because I use the keyboard, Control H. So Control H quickly takes me to my history. And what's nice about this is I can look at the history from other devices because Chrome synchronizes across all your devices. So this is my tablet, this is my work computer, and this is my home, as my second work computer, my laptop. So uh, let's see, one of the things, for example, that I go to quite a bit are my teaching notes, which I keep in Google Docs. So all I got to do is put in the word teaching notes, and there it is. Here's my research class, there's my consultation class. So because I go to these frequently, they're still in my history. And then from here, all I have to do is click on that link, and boom, that is a lot quicker than than uh, uh, finding that document or, or going through different layers to get it. Just use your history.